Hello darlings, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comments and I will sub you back. Now stay safe, wear your mask, and here's the video. Hello darlings, it's Brandy here from BRC Nails. Today is a hashtag Glitter Girls birthday group collab for Miss Ebony from Ebony's Nails. Happy birthday sis. Yay! I hope your birthday is fun and the best that it can possibly be. Her videos, she covers the full spectrum of nail art, building nails, uh, tutorials, hauls, all that stuff. She does it all. So if you do not know who she is, please go check her out. Her links, um, her YouTube and her Instagram will be in the description box down below as well as the list of people that participated and the playlist of people who did videos. And please don't forget, ladies, there are a ton of giveaways. Ladies and gentlemen, I know there's some gentlemen out there that, um, you know, be watching my videos. Shout out to the gentlemen. Um, <laughs> there is a huge list of giveaways that I will put in the description box. I know that um, Hillbilly Nails and Makeup she is very very close my nails by jana she is very very close so you know check these ladies out they are subscriber giveaways for the most part um i know just nailed it is doing a glitter giveaway at the moment um so yeah i'm not sure about how close everyone is because there's literally at least 10 people on this list 10 channels so please go out there support the ladies in the nail community help them reach their goals and hopefully win a nice prize and don't be unsubscribing if you don't win because you know that's just shady okay so let's now get into this birthday video okay so first of all i am taking my venalisa blue number 939 and i am going to paint the top part of the nail um because i wanted to do a blue french so I'm not really too worried about the actual arch of the French because I'm going to put stones on it. That is the easiest way to make a beautiful French um, if you're not that great with your lines or, you know, you get lopsided because, you know, I still get like that. So, <laughs> obviously, um, this is just like a little cheat hack. I know I've done it before. Um, but the transition area just, you know, because it's two different mediums. I'm, I'm using the gel polish and then I'm using builder gel. So <clears throat> the transition area is already a little weird anyway um, because I only had to put one coat of gel polish. But I had to put uh, two coats of the builder gel. And of course it's way thicker because it's meant as an extension or an overlay. Um, but it can also be used like this and for encapsulation as well especially the jelly ones because it'll give your nail like the glitter or um, whatever you're encapsulating it will give it that little color shift so it's almost like a filter is being put on <laughs> put on the embellishments so that's a little something to think about um, that way you can use like hollow and then when you put the builder over and when it's a jelly the hollow will you know turn into a blue hollow sort of so you know it's just a little something, something to play around with um and i have my little cleanup brush there i'm dipping it in alcohol and just wiping around the area just to tighten it up a little bit just because you know like i said i'm not really too worried about it but i still want to keep it you know the way that it is so now I am taking Builder uh, Royal Blue from Madame Glam. I won the full line in a contest, and I sent a few bottles out to a couple nail sisters, um, Miss Catherine Ford and um, Roseanne from Miss Classy Nail Designs. They each got a couple bottles, so you will be seeing it on their channels. Um, I do believe Miss Roseanne might be coming back to videos. Lately, she's been Instagram only, but her designs are awesome, so please go check both of those ladies out as well. So what I'm doing here is I am taking the Builder Gel. I put a very thin slip layer. Um, it's kind of almost like dry brushing it on. Um, and then I took a bigger blob and I floated it down the middle. 
um, and now I'm just trying to even out the sides. Um, it's not so much a big deal when you're doing it as an overlay um, because you're not worried about a stress point, but I still wanted it, you know, I wanted to go with the more traditional way, quote unquote, to build a nail. Um, so here I'm doing the same thing again. I am just creating that slip layer, um, taking the extra off the ends and the sides, and then I will add a little bit more down the middle. Um, you know, you see me kind of focusing more on the middle than the sides, but you don't want to miss the sides either because then you will have bumpy craters and, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a mess if you're not careful. And you see me holding it upside down like that because it, it was fairly warm in my room, so the gel was moving um, a little bit more than it has previously, um, you know, because of the hot weather and we don't have our air conditioner in down there yet. Um, so usually you'll have to flip your nail over and that stress area in the middle will basically the gel, you know, is going to go to there and it will almost build the stress, um, you know, cover the stress point automatically when you do that, whether, you know, it's on your hand or on a tip or whatever. Um, you know, if your gel is sliding around, that's the best thing to do to kind of get it back in shape. But you don't want it dripping off either, so depending on the temperature and the thickness of the builder gel, um, you know, because builder in a bottle is a lot different than hard gel, because builder in a bottle has to, you know, be used like with a brush in the bottle, where hard gel, it's, you know, it's separate, so... You know, some hard gels you can flip over and that ain't going nowhere, nowhere <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's almost more like a poly gel. Um, but anyways, so now the middle nail, I wanted to do just straight jelly. And um, same thing, you know, I flipped it upside down and did that. Now I'm wiping off the layer, the inhibition layer, and I do have to say that the inhibition layer on these particular is fairly large. Um, you know, when I first started and I was using hard gel, I was putting it in a 36 watt lamp, right, for two minutes, and I would take it out and touch it and it would still be wet, right? So I kept putting it back in the lamp, not realizing that yes, there is an inhibition layer. <laughs> so, I mean, this was like right when I first started, but still, I just, it wasn't on my hand. So, you know, there was no danger there, but I, I just thought it was trash. <laughs> it was the inhibition layer. <laughs> so see, everybody starts at the bottom and works their way up. <laughs> So while I was telling you that story, I took the inhibition layer off and I just buffed the builder gel part. Now I'm wiping them off with um, a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol. Um, I did end up scuffing the polish a little bit, so I will be putting another coat on after. Now this little Revlon thing I got at the dollar store a while ago... And there's like a very deep blue. I know it looks black, but it's, um, you know, like a midnight blue type color. And then on the other side, this is what caught my attention. The flakies. <laughs> I called it way back, way back, way back. This is the year of the flakies. Mylar flakies, glitter flakies, any type of flakies <laughs> are popping this year. Um, but I have just been waiting to use this. And it is regular polish, of course. So, <laughs> I went to put it on. But here's the trick that I use. I ran out of actual full-size sponges. So, I'm just using this little tiny. Um, I use it sometimes to clean up under the edges um, if something is under there. I don't really need them much anymore. But I had made them up a while back. So, they were just sitting there. So what I do is I take the glitter polish, I put it on this sponge, and I kind of, you know, I push it so that the, sun, the sponge will soak up, and it will take all that excess polish, like the clear polish, away. So you're basically putting 
um, a thick coat of glitter on there with minimal polish. Now, of course, it would need a top coat at least once um, because this is mylar in there. So it kind of did stick up a little, but I covered all of it with um, a coat of builder gel. So I didn't have to worry about that. Um, so then I do the same thing again. I mean, if I had a full size one, I would only have to do it once. Um, and it would have been enough to cover the nail. But since these were the only little sponges that I had, I decided to just, you know, go with it and see however long it takes. If you are still watching this video, hello, hello, hi, Sheree. Mwah, mwah. Um, please hit that like button. It really does help us out and it costs you absolutely nothing. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you will miss my uploads because that's just how YouTube works. They will be there, but you just won't know about it. So <laughs> if you do like my videos, please hit the bell so that you will know every time I upload. And I just wanted to show this, um, you know, this thing, this technique, you know, and I did all the nails. Okay, so see, watch this now. Oh, wait, no, it's not yet. Okay, so I'm covering the scuff marks that I made with the buffer, which is kind of good because, yeah, it's one coat coverage, but with the glitter polish and the builder gel, it, it was raised, right? So, it like, the nail itself was uneven. Um, so, I'm just cleaning off whatever little dust that I might have missed. And now, here's the reason why I don't use regular polish. Because a girl is too damn impatient. I just wrecked up this nail. I was so pissed. <laughs> it was easy to fix, but still, I was an unhappy camper, right? So I'm trying to wipe off all the dust and stuff. And then, boom, the glitter polish isn't dry. So now it's a big, clumpy, crusty-looking-ass mess, right? So I ended up fixing it. Um, you know, off camera with the little sponge and all that stuff just to make it more even and to fix the damn mess that I made. I'm sorry it's out of, out of focus, but I had to leave this part in because y'all know that I do this every freaking time, whether it's, um, dip powder, regular polish, you know, whatever. I, I just, I'm so impatient that I just F it all up. <laughs> Oh, damn, I gotta, like, oil my chair or something. Anyways, um, <laughs> I am taking the Builder Gel and encapsulating the glitter that is on there. Again, to smooth it out, but also to just put that extra little blue on there. I think the colors came out gorgeous. I mean, I know that that Venelisa colors is one of my favorite of all time. Um... But the Madame Glam Builder Gel really did play a huge part. Um, it's very easy to work with. And, you know, no, they're not paying me or nothing like that. I did get this for free, but it was a giveaway, not an actual um, review item. So, um, Sierra, I, here I am just trying to... Um, well, this part is was easy. It was the other nails that was a little bit more tricky. Okay, so now there is two coats of the blue polish and then um one coat of the builder gel and then with the um glitter glitter polish so the tip of the nail is is raised like if you would look at it so what i'm doing here is filling in that part where it's uneven with extra builder gel and then just um basically putting enough to coat the glitter and that's it um, you know, so it's not an even amount. It's lopsided to fix the lopsidedness of the nail itself, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, I buffed everything off camera because it's hard for me to buff, like, underneath the camera itself. But I did want to leave in the top coat because it kind of just makes it all sparkly and shiny again. Because, I mean, by the time that you're done buffing, it just looks grayish to me. You know, it's it's more like a white, but whatever. You know, whatever it looks like, it's coated and like that, see? 
So when you put the top coat on, it's like magic crystallization, you know, <laughs> that takes the nail from looking a little rough, a lot rough, to the beautiful, almost finished product. Um, so yeah, I definitely wanted to leave this part in because it just makes such a huge difference. I mean, you could matte it and it would give you a similar effect to what it looks like when it's just nakedly buffed like that. But of course, it would have a beautiful finish. It wouldn't be all looking like a hot mess. It would just look beautiful. And the good thing about flakies is even if you put matte on top of it, you're still going to get some shimmer out of it. I'm a big fan of that um, because I do appreciate a nice matte but I also want to see the sparkle of the glitter. So, you know, just a personal preference of mine. Now, I was going to include the gemstones, but I decided not to because, I mean, gem placement is boring as hell, right? And this video is long enough anyway. So I didn't include that. I did use some uh, mixed AB stones. I just picked ones that looked blue. You know, because there's like a bluish purple one, there's a bluish red one. So, you know, there's a bunch of different ones. And I alternated between big stone, two small stones, two big stones, two small stones. So it kind of looks like a necklace, but without the um, charm at the end. And then when I went upstairs to take these pictures, I felt like it was still too naked. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't popping enough. So I used one of my stamping plates to stamp some butterflies on there because all the decals that I have are colored and I felt like if I put blue ones they would be lost in the blue um, and the other colors I wanted, you know, I wanted to keep it blue. So I added white and I think they came out stunning. I put a few more little gemstones on the end. Another butterfly wouldn't have fit so, but I felt like that space was a little empty so I just wanted to put a little something, something. So, Happy birthday, Ebony. I hope your birthday is fabulous. You have a wonderful day. People, go check out her channel. Go check out her IG. Her videos are awesome. And yeah, don't forget those giveaways either. They're all listed in the description box. Like I said, most of them are subscriber giveaways, but there are, well, I know Cherie has one that is just um, by a certain date. So, um, They'll all be down there, so please go check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again. Mwah.